So you think that's a pretty good move? I don't know. Queen's pawn, pawn three. Something just doesn't look right. This table's just a little bit arbitrary, huh? No lines. You know what I think? I think I need to make a chessboard. Wouldn't that be a great project? Let's do it. The woods I selected to make this chessboard is oak and maple. I really would have liked a darker, like a walnut or a mahogany. Couldn't find any. So these are the two that I'm going with. Should be very, very nice. I have not worked with hardwood a lot. So I'm probably gonna mess up, but let's have fun along the way, huh? All right, first thing, let's get some, some of this stuff cut. <sighs> All right, I have worked with uh, <clears throat> $75 plywood, full sheet, back in the, you know, back in the, a, day, a year or two ago. But hardwood, I have not worked with it much. I'm going to cut them at 17 inches. This will fortunately, fortunately be kind of a rough cut until we cut everything up and glue it. There it is, first cut. Going to need two of those at 17 in the, in the oak. Two in the oak. <clears throat> I did want to mention each of these. These were eight foot, one by eight. They were in the neighborhood of 60 bucks a piece. So it makes you a little nervous cutting them up. Okay, that's, that's a good enough contrast. Now we need to rip two inch strips out of these. This is what I'm starting out with then. I'm going to need uh, four oak and four maple. So it'll be a total of eight two inch wide rips. I have set the saw blade at two and an eighth so I can run them through the planer to bring them down perfectly to two inches. These came out just a, well, wrong way. <laughs> two and an eighth, so I'll run that through the planer. The, I was able to save, this has a just a pinhole all the way through. We'll save this for, excuse me, for later. Both of those we'll use for other, other uh, parts of the chessboard or something, as well as these two little rips. So this is kind of, I think I like the contrast. That's that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we'll run this through the planer. Now you know why I built the planer table so I could uh, have something more comfortable. So moonwalk. Look at that, the easy it goes. Okay, that was a terrible moonwalk, I know. All right, let's see. Wow, that just moves around so easy, easily. Just gonna stand these up, put them all together. I'll make a pass through and then I'll turn it over so that I'm uh, getting, there's some roughness to it from the table saw. So, we'll rip these. Hopefully, no snipe. I did cut these an inch long, so if there's a little I have to cut off the ends, I can do that. All 
don't know if I, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I, I'll turn it over each time so that it gets nice and smooth. And I'll take I'll pull a measurement when I get down close to two inches to make sure I don't overdo it. Two inches. Perfect. All right. A good way to verify that it's exactly two is to lay them all out. We want it to be exactly 16 inches. It's 16 and an eighth. I'm going to take one more pass. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Dropping everything. Let's check that out. When you take a small rip on eight pieces, it adds up pretty quick. Hopefully I didn't overdo it. Perfect, 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 perfect. I don't think it'll condense much. I like that, that is right on. Okay, so I'm going to glue it in two pieces. I don't know, I can feel some ridges there. I'm going to glue them up separately in two pieces and just run a pass through on each side to because uh, I can see some unevenness here. I think that would be uh, wise. Now I'm ready to glue up. I'm paranoid that I'm going to glue the wrong thing. Let's see if I can get it right. I'm going to leave these three. A lot of people put this on not, uh, they don't spare the horses at all. Guess you need to make sure you get everything. I'm am going to be gluing it right on the table saw table, and I'm going to be using my fingers. Probably. You professional woodwork, hardwood workers, probably like saying, Kenny, 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 Kenny. <laughs> That's not enough, is it? I'm going to get it all the way out. It just seems to me like if you, you put a lot on, you just slather it on, and then it's all dripping off the edges. Then you have to clean that up. I'm hoping to avoid some of that, but I still want to make sure I get a good even coat. Looks pretty good. And then this one. Somebody has some energy this morning. All right. What a dog. These two, I didn't put any glue on because they're coming right up against that. Same right here. So there's no glue on either one of these. I'm just going to put them together and clamp that. I want to make sure I've got a good straight line there. Beautiful. I 
That's a really nice straight line. Great. I think I'm going to add some weight right here in the middle. How about... There we go. Exactly 16 inches. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, everything is dry. I had to let this set overnight. It takes about 24 hours for the glue to really get good and solid. So I'll take these, take this weight off. can feel, you can see quite a bit the, the roughness. The maple was definitely thicker than the oak, probably like a sixteenth of an inch, which is interesting because it all ran through a planer somewhere. <laughs> uh, okay, so now pull this apart. Take something that's glued down to the table, just jar that loose. Just take a block, knock that loose. Hope. Oh. Yeah. So it's in two pieces. We'll glue this together after I run them both through the planer. Just run a chisel over over this lightly. If I don't take this down, obviously it'll ride hot, not ride smoothly on the, on the planer. Okay, let's make a few passes through the planer. I don't use a, a planer a lot, but this really works pretty good for my use. I won't be running anything bigger than, than what I've got going right now. just gotta love editing. I just spent uh, two or three minutes explaining what I was going to do after, prior to gluing it. So anyway, it was just that one more joint. I glued that, spread it around really well, make sure it's good. And now we have to wait 24 hours. So, da 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 da. Big day. So it's been sitting for 24 hours. Going to uh, unclamp it. I didn't use a lot of glue, so I don't, I don't think it'll be stuck this time. <laughs> nope, not at all. It looks good and flat. That came out well. So uh, I'm going to have to use a uh, orbital sander to get this all smoothed up and purdy. All right. Okay, normally I wouldn't have gone out and bought a tool, but I expect I'll probably doing, be doing a little more work like this. So I, I got a, I went with DeWalt because that's what all my batteries are. Oh, 
Oh, dust collector. Orbital sander. It slips on there real easy. A battery. Snap. Is this got an on button? Oh yeah. How about we put a, a pad on there? This is a 220 grit. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, earmuffs on. So, one thing I want to say is I did get some snipe on here, across here and there. If you remember, I did cut it long. It's uh, 17 inches. I want 16. <clears throat> this also is the back, and it's a little rougher. Uh, I had more snipe on this side. This one came out pretty good. I got a bad spot there. But for my first effort, I'm pretty excited. I'll actually be able to cut that out. This side all looks good. Feels good. I've seen a lot of people make a sliding table so you can fix the piece and it just slides across, but I feel comfortable enough with this riding well against the fence. So I've set it at 16 and a quarter, which will remove this snipe. So it's perfect over there and there's really none over here. Really happy with that. So let's let's cut this. Interesting, got burn marks on there. That's like a brand new blade. Well, hmm. Okay. Now I'll set set the fence at 16. <laughs> I like that. None of the pieces came apart. When I was cutting, you probably saw it in the video, this particular one, this piece fell off. So I had to re-glue it. So it's been glued for half an hour or so, so it says I can t remove the clamp. So I've done that. Um, so I'll just be really careful. I just am really excited to put this together because I have never, I've never done this. Let's see, let's go turn it this way. Oh, <laughs> a checkerboard chess set. Look at that. All you do is reverse them. Pick the good side. There's a few scuff marks on the, so I'm putting that down. There it is, the checkerboard, the checkerboard. Look for the loon. That's it. That's from a 1950s radio commercial on an AM station. Purina Chow. 
Well, let's glue this up. I decided to go with a, a brush to spread it out. I won't put any on this one. Here I am, slathering. <laughs> slather the lather. <laughs> Having fun while spreading glue, why not? I want to cover every... I'm only doing this because I had that one piece fall off. And I, w I just want to make sure <clears throat> this is glued well. I do believe I got everything. Okay. Make sure I clean that brush out. Okay. Just <clears throat> using these to put them, make sure they're snug together. Good. <clears throat> So I'm going to use these on the ends. Okay, and I'm going to also set something on here. These clamps are really trying to roll it up. So I'm going to Add some extra weight. Okay, so that will finish this video for today. I'm going to let that dry. It'll take a, a 24 hours for the glue to harden. And then um, on to the next step. But this will finish this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hope you had a uh, have a great day. Uh, uh.